Now, the inventions that are not patentable are mentioned in section 3 and 4. Now, these are the statutory exceptions. Uh, the invention, the patentability under section 21J, we were referring to the tests that are that have to be there, what we call the positive requirements. If novelty is there, invention is granted uh, a patent. If inventive step is there, the invention is granted a patent. If utility is there, invention is granted a patent. These are the positive requirements. Now, section 3 and 4 are the negative requirements. Negative requirements in the sense that these things should not be there. If these things are there or if the invention falls into any of these categories, it will not be granted a patent. Now, but the, the, as I said, these exceptions are applied first uh, because uh, if for something to be a patentable subject matter, it has to first go through the exceptions. Now, there is no need to classify these exceptions because the exceptions are the Indian uh, uh, statute is free to have policy based exceptions. You can just as a policy, we can just decide and say that we will not grant software for uh, a car, sorry patents for software. It's a policy exception. Now, we cannot go and see whether these exceptions are right, wrong in some countries may grant us, others may not grant it. Whatever be it, for the purpose of this exam, these exceptions can be understood as something created by a statute. These exceptions would broadly fall into two categories. If you see section 3 and section 4, there are two categories of exceptions. One are the absolute exception. Absolute exception in whatever be the case, you cannot get over these exceptions. You are barred from patenting an invention which falls within that exception. Section 4, which deals with uh, inventions relating to atomic energy, is a classic example. No matter how good your invention is, whether it satisfies every other condition, if it pertains to atomic energy, you will not be granted a patent. The statute is created that way. You can't get over that exception. <clears throat> Whereas, there are some exceptions which are limited or conditional. Conditional in the sense that the exception is there, but you can get over that exception. For instance, if you see section 3E, it talks about mixtures of substances. Normally, if you mix two substances and the substances retain their individual properties, like, like uh, 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 you, you take uh, two painkillers having different actions, like paracetamol and brufen, you combine them and come up with a new uh, drug. Now, the drug, it could have been consumed separately or even if you have them together, it does not do anything but they have their own two individual actions. It has the individual action of paracetamol and brufen. It's, it's just the normal action, but they, you, for the sake of convenience, now it's in one pill. Now, this is what Section 3E says. If you combine material or if you combine substances, you make them into a mixture and they retain their individual properties, though in the mixture, then they are just combination of known substances. You cannot get a patent for it. But you could get over the exception in Section 3E by saying or by demonstrating when I combine these two things, I got an effect which was greater than the combination of its parts, what we call a synergistic effect. I mean, people in the field will know what we mean. We, when we mean synergy, we mean when things come together in an unexpected way. Now, synergy to put it mathematically, uh, I should not be quoted on this. Synergy mathematically is where we say 2 plus 2 makes 5. It's something more than 4. I mean, 2 and 2 we know makes 4. But when you put them together, it makes 5. That is called synergistic effect. So, you combine materials and you get an unexpected result, which is not a sum of its individual properties. You get something more. And in, in, in pharmaceutical chemistry, we constantly see this synergy happens. Two things would have had independent effect, but when they come together in a form, they help to either uh, have extend the uh, half-life of that thing or better absorption. Some synergy happens. So, so synergistic effect is one way you can get over the exception in section 3E. So, Understand the exceptions in 3 and 4, what we call the statutory exceptions as absolute exceptions like atomic energy and some of them are 
conditional exceptions you could get over the exception by demonstrating synergy section 3d is another example 3d normally bars new forms of known substances if you are using a new form of a known substance you will not be granted a patent but if you can demonstrate enhanced efficacy you will be granted a patent again an example of a conditional exception now section 3 deals with an exhaustive list and probably it's it's the longest list in any statute in any patent statute as far as uh, i've heard uh, it's the longest list of exceptions uh, it begins with exceptions relating to frivolous inventions and inventions that are contrary to natural laws now perpetual motion many of you will know that perpetual motion is not possible you cannot create a machine with a perpetual motion because it violates the laws of thermodynamics we know that physics has taught us that you cannot have perpetual motion without entropy settling in and we cannot have something running without losing out on energy so perpetual motion as we have uh, understood it is not possible for this reason if somebody comes up with an invention and claims uh, that that his invention or his device is capable of perpetual motion patent office throughout the world will ask him to bring a miniature model and they say bring the model and work it to work it for us we will grant you the patent so that's one easy way in which patent offices have got over missions involving perpetual motion they will just say bring a miniature model show us it can run on its own forever so that's not possible so inventions that are contrary to natural laws and inventions that are frivolous in nature just you know for time pass without any uh, 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 any uh, uh, commercial or uh, any kind of significance then you will find that the, uh, the they they come under a frivolous invention or an invention that is contrary to natural laws then you have inventions that are contrary to public order or morality now public order or morality is a long it's a long list and in what could amount to uh, con- what could be contrary to uh, our morality may not be contrary to european or american moralities but this is been used in the scientific area now one case involving howard onco mouse and this was a genetically engineered mouse which was susceptible to cancer and this mouse could be used for testing cancer drugs this was granted in patent in us there is a us granted patent on the onco mouse whereas europe rejected it using the public order and or morality clause so there are some uh, in, uh, in india we don't grant gene patents uh, we don't grant patents for animals and animals we don't grant patents for them uh, some countries may grant that so public order or morality is something which is tied to uh, try try to uh, uh, especially where ethical issues such as cloning comes in public order or morality uh, exception is used uh, discovery not an invention i said a discovery of a scientific principle formulation of an abstract theory coming up with a new equation or or a, a chemical equation to solve something all these things are still you are still in the abstract level you have not brought your invention to the level of a product or a process now if you use a scientific principle and come up with a product yes that product is patentable no doubt about it but mere theory mere principle mere equation these things are not seen as patentable for this simple thing it does not satisfy utility it does not have a it is not equations abstract theories are not capable of commercial industrial application keep that in mind when we say industrial application we are actually referring to something resulting in a mass produced process or a product uh inventions pertaining to arrangement now i am not going through the entire list because after c you can see f coming up there is d n e uh so as so a we 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 just quickly running through uh, the main things 3d and 3e will come in in the uh, f- future lecture so that's quite an important topic so we'll be covering that in uh, greater detail uh, 3f uh, does not allow a person to combine known devices in a known manner so so if you want to uh, add a timer to a machine to which a timer has not been added before 
it is a mere workshop improvement the devices are known all you did was you just came up with a new arrangement of known devices so for that matter the patent uh, a, a patent will not be granted method of testing is now been omitted a method of agriculture or horticulture is not patented cannot be patented a method of treatment uh, of humans and animals again uh, the method of treatment is exempted from the act 3i prohibits it uh, plant and animal varieties for plant varieties we have a separate act under intellectual property rights laws it's called the protection of plant variety and farmers rights act 2001 for plant variety we have a separate act animal varieties are not patentable as i said we can't we don't give gene patents in india business method computer program uh, and algorithms are not patented they could have a protection for algorithm under the copyrights act computer software can be protected under the copyrights act but it's not the same as a patent uh, you will get a copyright protection over it and copyright always people can write the code in a different form and make them do the same uh, end uh, function Uh, if you see all the browsers uh, some of the browsers are even have patents behind them all the browser will do the same function if you press the back button but the code may have been written in a software would have been written in a different form but they all do if you press back button it goes to the earlier page so 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 copyright law allows you to do it whereas if patents are granted then anybody who uses the back button to go to the earlier page would be can be technically stopped so that's a reason it's a policy reason to grant uh, soft patents for software now recently we had the uh, the uh, we had guidelines issued by the patent office on a, pat, a soft uh, computer related inventions the guidelines are very clear that only if uh, a patent uh, would be granted for software if it is combined with a novel hardware now novel hardware means the hardware should be new it cannot be something generic so which puts a question mark on most uh, m- most uh, 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 most uh, uh, software patents relating to smartphones now you you, you should be knowing that uh, a single smartphone that we use uh, by a conservative estimate is expected uh, to have somewhere around 2 lakh 50000 patents yes there are so many patents in a smartphone 2 lakh 50000 now now because the indian law has now come up with this guideline saying that uh, mere software will not be granted a patent unless it is coupled with a novel hardware uh, there is a question mark hanging over many uh, patents uh, relating to standard essential patents that's what they call it in the telecom sector Uh, literary dramatic musical artistic works they are all subject matters of copyright so what is the subject matter of copyright is automatically excluded uh, scheme or a rule or arrangement of information all these things are excluded uh, topography of integrated circuits which is semiconductor chips are taken care of by a separate act we have a semiconductor chip act for that and th- th- that's again a subject matter of a separate uh, Uh, separate um, uh, uh, statute traditional knowledge again cannot be patented uh, traditional knowledge cannot be patented uh, we, we will uh, see that uh, inventions relating to atomic energy is can also not be patented that we had already uh, we have already um, mentioned uh, that okay uh, and if a patent is granted that can be revoked